Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher again from Reading Town. Let's take a look at today's article. Today's article is about clouds, right? So we see clouds outside on most days. Sometimes there's very few clouds, but we see them up there and we wonder what it's like. So we know in some cartoons or some movies, people are laying on the clouds or playing in the clouds or sometimes even eating clouds like cotton candy. But let's see, today's article is going to tell us what are clouds. So let's find out more about clouds. Do you ever look up at the sky and wonder what clouds are made of? So wonder means think about, right? So do you ever look up in the sky and think about what clouds are made of? They're made of water. Did you know that? Maybe you did. So it says clouds, if you touch it, right, you will get a little bit wet because it's made of water. When water evaporates, it goes up into the sky as teeny tiny specks of water. So evaporate, let's look at that long word. Evaporate means when water goes up into the air and it changes. So if I wash my hands in water and then I kind of leave my hands out like this for a few minutes, then the water will disappear from my hand. Where did it go? It went up into the air, it evaporated, right? So when water turns into gas and goes into our uh, air, then it turns, that's when the word evaporate happens, right? The water evaporates, so it's a verb, it's an action word. So the water evaporates, goes up into the sky and it turns into very, very small specks of water, very tiny, tiny, tiny bits of water. When these particles, particles are the same thing, it's very small parts, when these particles gather together, clouds are made. So when water evaporates into the air and these tiny little bits of water come together, gather means come together, when they come together, clouds are made. When these water particles, the small bits of water, when they gather even more, then they become rain, sleet or even snow. So it depends on the air, how cold or how warm the air is, but when the clouds are made and more pieces of water, more tiny particles of water gather, it can turn into rain, sleet, which is a mixture of uh, snow and rain, or just snow. There are many pretty shapes of clouds to look at. So there's clouds that look like this, there's clouds that look like that. So the next time you're bored, look up and enjoy the clouds, right? So I remember I used to do this when I was little. I used to look up in the clouds and try to imagine, right? Sometimes I would see a shape that looks like a, a dog or a person, right? So there's many different shapes and now we know what the clouds are made of. They're made of water. So when the water evaporates or goes up into the air and then these tiny little bits of water gather together, they become clouds. And when even more come together, they can turn into rain, sleet, or snow. Very interesting. So when you look up in the sky, you can tell your friends all about what that is. Okay, let's see how many people know about that. That'd be a cool question. So let's look at the first question here. We can see some clouds in the sky and a nice blue sky. It says, when water something, it goes up into the sky as tiny specks of water. So we've been talking about this long word, right? So when water goes up into the sky and it changes from water into very small little pit, uh, pieces of water, it turns, it goes, and it evaporates. So when water evaporates, it goes up into the sky as tiny specks of water. So all those clouds, they came from the ground as they went up into the sky after water evaporates. So we see water evaporating from rivers, from lakes, especially from the ocean, and even from puddles on land, right? Those can all evaporate. Now let's look at B. Clouds are made when something gather together. So what comes together? So we said gather means coming together. So what comes together to make clouds? We said that they are particles. Particles are the very small pieces, right? Very tiny pieces of water. When they come together, that's what makes clouds. Clouds often form many pretty something to look up at and enjoy. So when we look up at the sky, we see different, different what? And it says different shapes. So sometimes they look like, uh, what is that? They look like a donut sometimes, or they can look like a character, right, in a cartoon. So there's different shapes, okay? So most of the time, they're just very fluffy or they look very soft, okay? Let's look at the last part of our article today. So let's choose the right words. Do you ever look up at the sky and wonder, but wonder or wonder what clouds are made of? So here, do you look up at the sky is one action and then wonder what clouds are made of is another uh, idea. So there's two ideas and we need a word that connects them. So these are all conjunctions, but which one? But means 
on the opposite, right? Not the same. Or means you have two choices and and means both. So which one? Do you ever look up at the sky? And the correct choice is, do you look up at the sky and, right, wonder. So we look up and we do this, we think about, so we wonder. So the correct word will be and because it's both. So here, uh, let's look at the second one. When these particles, particles are the tiny pieces, gather together, clouds, so we know that it's plural, more than one cloud. Clouds is, have, or are made. So we know that it's not is because it's more than one cloud. Uh, have is kind of a weird one. Clouds have made. So we know that the correct answer would be the clouds are made. Okay. And the last one. So the next time your board, your board, or your board, look up and enjoy the clouds. This is one where a lot of students may get a little bit confused, right? So let's remember, whenever there's an apostrophe, I always tell my students, look at it like two different words. So this is you are, right? So this means you're belonging to you. So whenever you belonging are bored, right? Or it says you are bored, right? So I, I guess the easy way to look at it, split into two whenever you see an apostrophe, and it says whenever you are bored, so that's the second one, you're bored. So I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and learned a lot about clouds. Where are clouds from? They actually come from the water. Uh, so when you see clouds, you can see the different shapes. And the next time you have time or you're bored, you have nothing to do, you can look up and try to imagine different shapes and what you see in the clouds. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye everyone.